Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I'm continuing the series on the main stars of Purple Star Astrology. Uh, this is going to be the third segment, so if you haven't checked out the previous ones, please have a look at my playlist. Um, part one and two have already been posted. And today we are looking specifically in into the two stars that are called Huo Jun and Qi Sha. Huo Jun is also called Broken Soldier in English, and Qi Sha is called Seven Killings. So they both sound very scary, but actually they're not. It's just um, you know, the names usually sound a little bit scarier than they actually are. Now, keep in mind that I'm only going to uh, give you keywords, general keywords. How these stars actually manifest in your personal chart depends very much in what formation they appear, if they have any positive enhancers or any negative enhancers, um, and that may change their characteristics and their attributes slightly. So um, that's why I can only give you generalizations here. Um, if you would like to have a more in-depth analysis, you can always contact me and we can look at it um, from your personal chart perspective. But here, uh, just to make it easy for everyone, I am just looking at the general meaning of these stars. Now, first things first, of course, you need to plot your uh, Ziwei Doshu chart. So you can go to this link here. I'll also post the link in the description to this video and then just plot your chart. Make sure that you have your uh, time of birth. In Silway Dosho, it's very important that you include the time of birth. Otherwise, you may get a chart, but it's not the correct one. So do make sure that you have this. And then also when you are selecting the chart plotting type, select the flying stars method. Yeah, the one that I've highlighted here. And then just plot your chart and you will get something that looks like this. Now, um, the Ziwei Doshu chart consists of 12 different palaces. This is just an example. It may look different for you. Yeah, so don't get confused when your life palace, for example, is not located in the same position as in this example. It's different for everyone. Um, but what is the same for everyone is that you all have these 12 palaces. They may just be arranged in different ways. All right. So no need to panic. Now, today, as I mentioned, we are focusing on Po Jun and Qi Sha. So the first one we are looking at is the Po Jun star. Um, in English, it's called the Broken Soldier. And in this uh, particular example, we have it here in the Siblings Palace, yeah? So have a look where this star appears in your chart. Everyone has it, yeah? It's not gonna be missing somewhere. Uh, everyone has this chart, but it may be in a different uh, sector in your chart. All right. So let's have a look then at what this uh, star means when it appears in different palaces of your chart. So if the Portion stars appears in your life palace, um, then usually you have a person who is very energetic. They're usually risk takers. Um, they're quite daring. They, they, yeah, they like to take a risk. They're quite courageous and they just like to try out new things. Um, and they tend to be a little bit rebellious. Yeah, don't don't bore them with routine is not going to work for them. Um, they can be quite impulsive as well and sometimes a little bit hot tempered, but uh, tempers flare up and then they calm down fairly quickly. Uh, so if you have a if you have a child, if your child has the Po Jun star in his or her life palace, um, is gonna be a super active child. Yeah, they're gonna be rebellious. They're gonna be uh, contradicting you quite frequently. Doesn't mean that they are not well behaved, but you know they have a very very dynamic character, and you may you may want to prepare yourself for that. All right. Now if you have the Portune star in the siblings palace, like in this particular case here, it could mean that um, you may not have the best relationship with your mother or your siblings. And this is because, you know, they may have this Portune character. So they may be a little bit um, too brash for you or too impulsive, and you may not be able to completely relate to them on all levels. So it doesn't mean that you have to have a, a really, really bad relationship with them, 
but you know you there may be some tense times um throughout life where you really don't get along either with your siblings or your mother now if you have the fortune star in the spouse palace usually marrying later in life is better um tying down a fortune person uh at an early age is is never a good idea because then they start to rebel against the boundaries and the limitations that i that have been set it doesn't mean that they ma make a bad spouse, but um, it is generally better to marry later in life because then they've calmed down, they've done all their explorations, and then they're ready to settle. If you have your fortune star here in the children's palace, your children, uh, provided you have children, your children are going to be very restless, very energetic. Uh, you may constantly be chasing after them. Um, and it's usually not the quietest of children. Yeah, they may also be quite noisy and there's just constantly something happening. If your Pogin star is in the wealth palace, um, your, uh, the way you earn money is usually by, um, by being very good at financial strategy. So if you have Pogin in your wealth palace, make sure that you have uh, that you learn financial literacy in the sense that you can actually build up or create a financial strategy for yourself. And it's very often something that is slightly different than the mainstream. Yeah, it's not just putting your money into a savings account. Fortune uh, people, they like to take a risk. Um, and that's why it's important that you learn how to take financial risks and how to assess financial risks. So, uh, dare to be different, but still make sure that you uh, that you do your due diligence. Yeah, usually for Persian people, just uh, you know, hiding their money under the mattress or just having a very boring old savings account, mm, that's just not the way to go for them. You can have that as well, but on the side, do something else that is a little bit different and may involve a little bit of risk, but make sure that you educate yourself first. Now, if you have fortune in the health palace, um, the, the illnesses or the body parts that are most likely a little bit weak or more prone to illnesses are um, the reproductive organs, but also the large intestine. So this could also include, you know, being more prone to suffering from hemorrhoids, um, you know, these, these kind of uh, situations or STDs is also, a, the fortune people are at a higher risk if you have fortune in the health palace. Again, it may not be anything super serious, but this is something that you may want to monitor throughout life. If the fortune star appears here in the travel palace, um, obviously travel uh, or whenever you leave your house, if you go somewhere, is probably not going to be super smooth. It's probably, you're probably not going to be someone who just wants to hang out at a beach for two or three weeks, yeah? Um, it's much, much more, it has to be something that is a little bit more adventurous, a little bit more dynamic, exploring things. And also, if you have the Portion Star in the Travel Palace, it means that you are someone who has the ability to become very successful in life, but you need to learn to overcome obstacles and challenges. So it's very important for you that you learn to face challenges head on rather than hiding from them because success is very, very much possible, um, but you need to learn to make sure to face your fears, yeah? This is very important. Now, Pojun in the Friends Palace, Pojun people usually, they have a lot of friends. Yeah, they don't really care about uh, people's social status or how wealthy someone is or where they come from. They are um, they get very excited about new experiences and therefore they seek out people who may come from different cultural backgrounds, financial backgrounds, social backgrounds. So they have a wide circle of friends, a lot of friends. They may not all be very, very tight friends, but they have a big circle of friends. Now, Pojun in the career palace, um, 
could indicate that you are suitable for a career that um that requires you to have guts yeah so let's say you're in a law enforcement uh career or you are a surgeon or you are in a career where you're required to destroy things and then build them back up so for example, um, in in architecture or interior design, where you essentially destroy things first and then you build everything back up from scratch. Any type of job that um, requires you to look at things from a different angle and have a new outlook, bring a new outlook to things, yeah? So these sort of careers are very suitable uh, for you if you have fortune in your career palace. Now, fortune in the property palace, um, that is not something that we like to see because it generally means that uh, your flat, your house, whether you're renting it or whether you own it, it constantly requires renovation or repairs or there's always something that needs to be fixed uh, or is not in proper condition. Whether you choose to fix it or not is up to you, but there's always something that may not be working properly or that, that requires attention. Yeah, so this is um, uh, quite bothersome for a lot of people. Um, and so be careful with that if you have Pojun in your property palace. Now, Pojun in the mental palace means that you're constantly, uh, you're constantly thinking about different things. Like your mind is very, very active. You probably have a lot of different hobbies. Um, you want to explore new things, learn new things, but also you lose interest very very quickly so you may be passionate about something one day and then the next day completely lose interest so it's sort of like a monkey mind yeah uh, constantly on the go always thinking thinking and then lastly if you have the fortune star in the parents palace um it doesn't mean that you have a bad relationship with your parents, mainly with your father, but you may butt heads because you are um, you tend to have completely different opinions than your dad. Yeah, so different opinions with your father. Now, if you have a good relationship, then you can just talk about this and, you know, exchange ideas and opinions and get feedback. What you have to be careful with is that it doesn't escalate into an argument or into a fight yeah just accept the fact that other people have different opinions and um you'll be fine all right so this is what the fortune star can bring now the next one we look at is the um the tisha tisha in english means uh seven killings and in this chart here we have it yeah there we have it in the hell palace right so have a look where it is for you Again, it is definitely in your chart. Uh, you just need to take a look where in which palace is a, it appears. And then uh, depending on the palace, it may uh, manifest in different ways. Again, I need to stress that I can only give you generalities because it always depends on what other stars it appears with, what sort of like the formation it is that it shows up in. So there are variations, but overall, uh, the general keywords will remain uh, in place. So let's say you have the um, the Tisha in your life palace. Yeah. So let's say it appears here. Usually we are dealing with someone who is strongly independent, strong willed, uh, can be very assertive in extreme cases, even aggressive in life. Um, and they're fiercely independent. Yeah. These people do not like to be uh restricted or limited in any way they don't like uh to be set uh to be told what they have to do at any given time yeah they like to be fairly autonomous and they're also similar to the fortune they're very courageous very daring so they don't mind change now on the flip side they are also very impatient yeah they're quick tempered very impatient they don't like to wait for things things need to happen fast and they love to compete. So whether it's a, a big competition or a smaller one, doesn't matter. They just like to compete with other people or even with themselves. Yeah, they always like to better themselves. Now, if you have the uh, the Tisha in the siblings palace, um, again, 
it may lead to a lot of sort of tension with your with your mom or with your siblings because you are just you come across as a little bit too aggressive yeah you're just like overpowering sometimes and people just may not always be able to um to to have the best affinity with you and what you're actually doing so there's a there's a risk that um if you don't tone down your aggression a little bit and by aggression i don't mean that you're actually violent it's just a little bit too fierce yeah in the way you talk uh then you can burn bridges with your siblings and your mom now uh if you have it in the spouse palace usually people with Tisha in the spouse palace they either tend to marry someone who is very fierce and exhibits those Tisha, these uh, characteristics. Yeah, someone who is very fierce, very assertive, very independent, or they tend to um, have some sort of like a very sudden flash marriage. All of a sudden they decide to get married, let's do it now. Um, you know, there's usually not a long period of time where they are engaged and then they plan everything for years and years. No, it like happens from one day to another. The decision is taken. Let's do it. So this is usually uh, if you have um, Tisha in the spouse palace. Again, that element of impatience here. We don't want to wait. Let's do it now. Um, if you have Tisha in the children palace, that usually indicates that your relationship or your affinity with children is not that great. Um, women with uh, Tisha in the children's palace, they often opt not to even have children because there's somehow, there's not even, um, there's not even a, a, a wish for children or there's no impulse to have children. Um, no, uh, you know, the biological clock may not even be there. So a lot of times women, not always, but a lot of times women who have Tisha in the children's palace, decide not to have children. Now, if you do have children, um, you know, there may be a weaker affinity with the children, not in the sense that you have a poor relationship, but, you know, maybe the children go abroad for studying at a very early age, and that's fine for everyone around, yeah? You're not someone who is then uh, really, really sad about them leaving. Uh, you may, Obviously, you still love them, but, you know, you're very okay with them leaving, going somewhere else, yeah? So, Generally speaking, that affinity, that close bond that, uh, you know, leads other people to want their children close by at all times, it's just not there. Now, if you have Tisha in the wealth palace here, um, it can lead to a lot of fluctuation in your, in your uh, financial situation. Tisha people, because they're so impulsive, they can make money very quickly and then lose it very quickly as well. Yeah. So it's very, very volatile. And you have to be a bit careful with your with your financial situation. Um, a lot of times they tend to take all their money and put it in, put everything in one investment or spend it on something super expensive. And then they have to build up their wealth again. So it's sort of like money come, money go, and everything happens very quickly. So this is something that you need to monitor throughout life uh, in order not to suddenly be destitute. Now, if you have the, the Tisha in the health palace, like in this particular case, the body parts that are most susceptible to health issues are um, your respiratory system, the lungs, um, and the intestines, yeah? Usually anything respiratory that's the biggest issue so that goes from the lungs all the way yeah to your nose so the mouth the tongue the throat um everything in your respiratory system so make sure that you monitor this and usually you're if there's a flu going around or if there's a cold going around you're probably the first one to get it um so uh take precautions and make sure that your immune system is strong now, if you have the Tisha star in the travel palace here, um, you have you will get a person who is very outdoorsy. Yeah, they're very active. They prefer to be outdoors. You rarely find them just uh, like a hermit indoors at all times. They like to be outside and do things. 
yeah, not only when they travel, but just generally speaking, yeah, in their free time, they like to be outside, not necessarily in front of a TV or reading a book. Now, Tisha and the Friends Palace, uh, this one is something that we don't really like to see. And if you have this in your chart, if you see this in your chart, you maybe need to become a little bit more aware of this because you have a tendency to attract people into your life that are not necessarily the best influence. Yeah. And deep down, you know, but you just keep them hanging around anyway, because you are a bit of a risk taker and you know, this is exciting, but make sure that you don't fall for people who do have a really bad influence on your life and your life decisions. Yeah. So be aware of this. Uh, otherwise it could lead you down the wrong path. Now, if you have uh, the Tisha star in the career palace, again, similar to Po Jun, a career that is adventurous or just very, very active uh, is ideal. So maybe a, an, a career in sports or again in law enforcement or in the army or anything like this where you need to uh, constantly sort of like compete or be better than anyone else um that is an ideal career tisha in the property palace now this is not quite as annoying as the portion in the property palace uh it could just mean that there's always a lot of changes in the house so maybe you move a lot uh or maybe you decide okay i want to renovate in renovate the entire place not because you have to not because there is a uh, there is a need for repairs. You just like to change things up, yeah? And also, uh, it could mean that within your family, there's a lot of changes, yeah? A lot of coming and going. So maybe, um, you know, maybe relatives start living with you and then they move out again and someone else, maybe a friend starts living with you. So a lot of changes within the family or within the place uh, that you're actually living in. If you have the Tisha in the in the mental palace, you're very quick witted. Yeah, there's always you always have a very very witty response to what other people are saying. Your 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 uh, mental capacity is 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 way up there, and you're really uh, you're a quick thinker. Yeah, generally speaking, they're very very quick thinkers. And then lastly, uh, if you have the Tisha in the parents' palace. Usually you're dealing with someone who has a, a father who can be quite fierce and stubborn. Yeah. Um, whether or not that creates a problem is up to you how you react to it. But if you see Tisha in your parents' palace, your dad may be just very set in his opinions and his way of thinking about things in his worldview. And that can be very grating unless, of course, you agree with this, yeah, with these worldviews, then it's not a problem. But yeah, generally speaking, it's difficult to change your dad's um, opinion on things. All right. So these are the two uh, two of the main stars in Silway Doshu, Tisha and Po Jun. Uh, very, very active stars, very dynamic stars. And again, uh, they may manifest in slightly different ways in your life because it always depends on what else they come with what formation, negative, positive influences, and so on. Now, I hope this helped you guys. I hope this was fun and uh, you got a little bit more insight in how uh, Purple Star Astrology works. If you do have any comments, any questions, put them in the comment section below. And as always, you can always uh, contact me directly. My email address is in the description to the video. And uh, yeah, so please do subscribe to my channel to not miss out on these uh, on these quick introduction videos and metaphysics guidance. Share this with anybody who may be interested and please give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys soon. Take care.